uh, had a lot of quality cyclocross riders, including Isabit, Vanderpol, and Thibaut Nice. It was a three-stage race, uh, so there was a time trial which we've had to watch. That was how far you can get up a climb, and a, sh a short technical time trial, I think, as well. Um, but anyway, we'll get into the footage now, and afterwards we'll go through a little bit of analysis and show the time differences that Thibaut Nice put into everyone. All right, so here is the footage. We've got Thibaut Nice on the right. In the world championships as he's and Vanderpol is also world champion um, and obviously they started at the same time so you're going to be able to see the time difference straight away and obviously this is also, um, reality so how much you can gain from this isn't much but my point would be that if you're beating Vanderpol even if he's at 90 percent and you're a junior you're pretty good like, you are very good um, so I'm expecting a lot of big things from Thibaut Nice. Obviously his dad Sven Nice won the world championships in cyclocross about seven times. But you can see here, he's already put about two seconds into Matthew Vanderpol uh, going up the stairs. Like he's obviously, technically, Thibaut Nice is very, very good and almost the same, you know, as Vanderpol, if not better. Um, obviously physicality is always going to be different. Vanderpol is significantly older and physically he's going to be stronger. But at this moment in time, Nice is stronger. And I think, you know, obviously Vanderpol isn't going to sack off Cyclocross anytime soon. So I think these two and Pidcock are going to be very interesting. Ellie Isabet is also another quality rider. Um, and he, you know, he's a pure Cyclocross man. He doesn't really do anything else. Uh, well, obviously Vanderpol likes mountain bike and road and Pidcock also enjoys the road as well. But Pidcock having come in second, I think, in the um, in the World Championships last year was going to be interesting. I think Thibaut is moving to under 23 next year, um, so that's going to be pretty good. Good to watch, um, and I'm hopefully he'll do a couple of elite races and see how well he gets on, but it's super impressive for him. He's pretty stocky rider, like classic sort of cyclocross build, like not super skinny. Um, you know, obviously some are, like Pickock, but mainly sort of quite powerful, quite muscular, uh, especially in the legs, which is good for the short accelerations. He flies up this climb here on the right, super strong, and takes the corner very well. Um, but you can tell, like, you know, he's obviously, like, super, super gifted technically. Um, the same as Vanderpol. Um, both of them obviously have a lot of cycling heritage. We've got some odd camera footage here. Um, you know, obviously his dad, uh, his granddad, Vanderpol, was a pool of door, um, And his dad and mum both race pro. And obviously Sven Nace is, is Sven Nace. So, you you know, they're both from proper cycling pedigree families. And I feel like that definitely has a help on your genetics for sure. Um, and also, I guess, just, you know, knowing how to race, like, what, what sort of advice they get, they give to them when they get slightly older is definitely going to, definitely going to help them significantly. Uh, and the, in this last year, it was very interesting. They had a, um, a forced running section as well, so they had to get off and run. Um, and it was interesting to see, like, cyclists run, but actually, they both of them look pretty good, and they look like they actually did know how to run, which I guess you probably would practice. But here we go, here it is. So they all look pretty comfortable, um, you know can't really judge much from like a 15 second run um but it is interesting that they did this at quite a rate i'd like to see more of these to be honest like um maybe in they you know like obviously mountain bike races they often have like crit like fat tire crits the day before like short um short trail races what are they called short track races uh, it'd be interesting if cyclocross had like a tt but like this maybe four races i don't know like sort of more on the weekend but to be fair cyclocross has so many fans anyway they don't need to do anything else like people just absolutely love it in belgium and the netherlands um, and northern europe in general um we're coming towards the end of this race and it, it is pretty good to be fair I'm, I'm quite a fan of this side by side footage uh which we can see obviously not going to be able to see any power numbers from this but suffice to say we all know vanderbilt is an absolute monster and uh Tio Nice is also an absolute hitter, and I think he could be the next cyclocross star. Um, I think he really, you know, has the potential. Obviously, um, beating beating Vanderpol, it doesn't matter. Like you know, unless he's literally hasn't ridden a bike for ten years, which I don't think he has, but it's done his Instagram. Then uh, Sven Nice is going very well, um, and it'll be interesting to see how how well he does um, at the moment. And obviously for cyclocross, you know, they're you know in August time they'll start to build up for the cyclocross season. So going to be interesting to see what happens with road racing with Vanderpol. Um, and I'm, I assume Thibaut Nice probably does a bit of road racing as well. And there we go, 407.62, 409.96. So a comfortable three seconds, which is significant. So then we'll go over to the stats in a minute. So let's have a go over the times. Um, and you can see here, Sven Nice was 407.06. I think Vanderpol was like 409.9, but they basically rounded up to 410. So three seconds quicker. Um, 
the climbing section obviously pretty similar um but nice was slower um so that would suggest that you know he's he's potentially not as strong um as vanderbilt obviously vanderbilt was the fastest Ellie is a bit, didn't have a great one. Two nets. Um, I'm not sure who Sweet is. I haven't heard of him before. Run is interesting. N nice looks like he's a pretty good, pretty good runner, actually, uh, compared to all the rest of these guys. Uh, but overall, super solid performance. Nice won all the stages, you can see here. Um, so, yeah, what are your thoughts on, on Thibaut Nice? Um, what's he going to achieve? Will he just win everything? Which I, I think he could. Um, it's pretty exciting for Cyclops. We've got, you know, three solid riders. Um, they've got Nice and Vanderbilt, who look like they're committed to do it. Um, and obviously, I assume uh, that we will have some other riders like Izabit um, come through and potentially Wout Van Aert as well. So, anyway, cheers for watching. See you next one.